What's up everybody? It's a busy day in the car business, but I'm working hard and making sure I can find some of y'all some unique, cool cars to see. So stay with us today as we take a look at a vehicle that's almost over 20 years old, made by Lexus. Here we go. All right, everybody, thanks for joining up with us today here on YouTube with Charleston Car Videos. So we're gonna get out and we're gonna take a look at this super clean 2001 Lexus RX 300. And when you see it, you're gonna be like, wow, man, that's a clean old school Lex. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that. One thing's for sure, it's got some super cold AC in here on a hot day. I mean, it's over 96 degrees outside. I mean, it's scorching on a Friday, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this Lexus is a pretty one. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. If we see any dents, things, scratches, imperfections, I'll point them out. It's gonna be a great cash deal for somebody in the Carolinas. All right, everybody, so there she is, the 2001 Lexus RX 300. You know, a lot of y'all may remember these back in the day, if you're my age and you're uh, mid 30s or you know, even in your late 20s, I don't know. I mean, again, some of y'all may remember one, you may had your mom or dad maybe owned a RX 300, and uh, now they have the RX 350s, and Lexus has changed so much. And But this was, I believe, if I'm correct, and if I'm not correct, I know some of y'all will tell me, but I believe this was the first body style with a Lexus RX series vehicle. This was the first body style. Then these body styles kind of started making their way into the American market here. And, uh, and people love these. I mean, you see those all over the place and just about every neighborhood you see somebody driving a, uh, a Lexus, right? But those right there. And I'm sure back in the early 2000s, this was it, you know? People were driving these all the time. But anyways, what I like about this one is it does have that classic white paint with the silver bottom. And uh, again, this was like a super popular color to see on this car. A lot of people had them. And I like the two-tone going on with a nice looking five-star alloy wheels. You know, Rogers Enterprises does a great job of making sure their vehicles are in tip-top shape. They may be not perfect, you know, and have a few dings or scratches or things like that. Again, you got to always take into consideration, folks. It is a used car that's at a car lot that's basically here to be sold. But um, this got Michelin tires. Plenty of tread on the tires, not brand new, but you do have tread. They meet our specifications in the shop. You'll notice it's got the roof racks up top, sunroof, and you also notice a price of $5,500 cash. They call it the manager's special. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, let's keep moving forward. The body's in pretty good shape. I mean, not bad really for a 2001 that's almost 20 years old. Front windshield looks good. It's nice and wide. You got your roof racks up top, your white painted mirrors. Okay, now another thing you'll remember from back in the day with these cars is the window tint from here all the way around was like it is, it's a mirror tint. Uh, Lexus gave you mirror tint from the manufacturer. Now you never see a car today with mirror tint on it from the manufacturer, right? Here's again, a little bit older but newer version of the Lexus RX. I mean, it's got just your traditional black you know, 38% window tint. But it had the mirror tint on it and uh, mirror tint was really popular back in the day. And again, to me, it kind of give it that classy luxury look. You know, there you go, take a look, right? I don't know if y'all can see it too good with the camera, but it is there. Um, the back antenna just kind of goes right on down into the body of the vehicle, which is another nice thing. The back tires obviously are brand new, so you got the tires in the front that aren't brand new but still have good tread, but they put brand new tires in the back, which is nice. You got your mud flaps. The Alteza taillights, somebody may remember those. They had that three-dimensional kind of look about them. As you can see, again, Lexus being one of the first companies to kind of introduce these styling of headlights with the chrome in there and all that back in 2001. You know, not a very big car, really. I would more or less call this a, uh, a small kind of CUV nowadays in 2019. This would be a crossover, and uh, and that's more of a mid-size SUV. No third row seats or anything like that in the back, but let's go ahead and show you the Chrome L. I'm going to open this up in just a moment, but it uh, looked like the, uh, the back part did not want to open. And uh, we'll get to all this stuff here very soon and shortly. 
If I can find the button to actually open the back up. Well, let's just hit the unlock button. That might help. You probably noticed a little bit of wood trim on the inside. Again, another, you know, thing about Lexus is their, their wood trim. And uh, there we go. You just got to pull a little harder on it, right? It is an older car. No power tailgates back in 2001, folks. Not on this car. But there's the rear. You got a ton of space in the back. You got the rubber Lexus mats with the Lexus logo. You got your all-season mat in the back. You got your cargo cover right here to cover up your personal belongings so nobody can see in the back of your car through those windows, which is really nice around the holiday time. You never know. You go to the mall, someone might break out your windows and steal something. Um, the back seats fold down for a 40-60 back seat split. And um, there's your carpet, more carpet, and then under here should be, yep, a spare tire and tools that sits right under there. So this is all looking pretty jam up for something with this age, this much age on it. Roof racks are holding up okay. Sunroof. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. There's that wood trim. There's more soft, supple leather on the door panels. Cubbyhole area, speaker, power seats, power lumbar. You know, the leather seats look great in here for an 01. Very nice. They may have been touched up a little bit from our leather upholstery guy, but they look great. Wood trim looks great on the steering wheel. Carpets are in good shape, right? Again, cold AC, which is awesome. More wood trim here. Your key goes in there. Glove box. CD changer. If some of y'all remember the old school changers, you had this little thing here. You put the CDs in and then just kind of just like that. I love how that feels, just sticking that right in that slot. Passenger side of the seat looks good. Cup holders, or ashtray actually there. Let's see if we got uh, cup holders. There we go, look at this. And um, well, it doesn't seem to be, uh, it seems to be broken right now, but again, that's kind of how that works with the cup holders and all. And uh, right here is more store. Oh, actually, well, my goodness gracious, everything is broken. So <laughs> you won't be putting cups down in here too anytime soon. So you might just want to stick it right here between your legs. But anyways, you know, it is what it is. It's an older car and plastic and things do break over, over time. I'm sure that could be fixed though somehow. Anyways, you got a little storage down there, which is nice. Um, there will be heated seats in the front on both seats. You do have a tape deck here that says theft deterrent design in here. And um, let's see if the radio works. Give that a little shot here for a moment. Well, somehow. Anyways, let's see if we can get it on just to make sure the speakers sound okay. Yep, they work. Okay, and you got your caution lights there. Not a nav screen, but does have your climate controls that all go through there. And uh, let's go ahead and hop in real quick and drive it up this way a little bit so we can see how the transmission and all feels on this 01 Lexus, because that's definitely important. Um, you did have home link right above up there. You got sunglass holders, vanities, and oh crap handles above every windowsill in the car. Well, so far, the, you know, the vehicle feels good. I believe it's a V6 up under the hood of this amazing car. Let's pull out real quick and just kind of zip it down the road here for a second and see how that feels. All right. Wow, that little V6 is strong. Shifted right through first just fine. And, uh, and it felt great, you know? You know, it's a smaller vehicle. It's not a very big vehicle. So that's probably got a good size V6 engine under there that can uh, produce enough power for you to get the job done on any given day of the week, you know? So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this Lexus RX. Did you own one back in the day yourself? Or a family member had one? And, you know, I'm sure somebody had one in your family if they, uh, they loved a car like this. And uh, as you can see, they got a few newer ones right there. Not bad. Before we go today, though, let's um, see. Do we have a backup camera? Absolutely no backup camera in this car, folks. Backup cameras were not a thing back in 2001. And um, 
there may have been some companies that had a backup camera back in 01, but I don't know any of them off offhand. But let's get out real quick and let's actually pop the hood on this little Lex and see what we got going on. Actually, before we do though, let's take a look at them back seats back there. Check them out. Got your uh, your armrest, plenty of headroom, your lights. Does the sunroof still work all these years later? Well, let's check it out and see. Where are the buttons for that? I would assume up here, and those are lights, those are buttons. Yep, still working. How about that? One click of the button does it. That's it. You know, really not a bad car. So many people walk by it every day and don't really give a whole lot of thought to it. But, you know, sometimes you got to highlight a car like this on a channel like this to really shed a little light to some people out there. Now, the mileage is definitely high, but it's kind of a give me considering how old it is. It's got 232,165 on the mileage. And um, so, you know, but it is a Lexus, guys. It's a Toyota at the, at, when it comes down to it at the end of the day. Let's see where we can do our hood. Open her right on up, and there's your V6 3004 Cam 24 bow BBTI. Yeah, you got a battery, got an intake with a filter and a whole motor to go along with it. You can't beat that, can you? You sure can't. Let's see if it tells us anything up here. It's actually a 3.0 liter. Very nice, very nice. Even still got the VIN number stickers right up under there. There you go, headlights are working just fine and dandy for us. Not bad, if you are interested in buying a 2001 LX or RX with a big old L on the front, let me know, you see that phone number back there on Rogers? Give me a call, love to help you out with your next purchase. Thank you for watching, God bless America. Try to stay cool this summer, folks. If you live in the Carolinas or on the East Coast or West Coast or wherever you live at, it's hot as heck out here. But one thing's for sure, we're selling cars like candy bars here at Rogers today. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. Have a good one, guys. I'd love to see some of y'all. And uh, if you're ever in the Charleston area and you wanna stop by and meet this guy that makes videos, come on by and come see me. We'll see you soon.